So this is the mission where a lot of people. Okay. Roland should be around here somewhere. I'm sure you can handle yourself, but if anything happens to Roland, make sure nothing happens to Roland. So for a lot of people, this is the mission that actually makes or break the game. Breaks the game. So where they decide if they want to continue or not, because it's a very long mission. And if you're not equipped with, uh, well, with some better gear and the correct level, it might be a bad one, because you wouldn't be able to get through this properly. Uh, but for now, we should be fine. So the spiker is, wow, highly inaccurate. Look, I'm not doing anything. This is what the, the sights do when I'm just aiming. There we go. And he explodes. Ah, and there we have our new enemy type, the Bruiser. So a bit more health, and that's basically it. And let's kill this guy with a melee attack. I'm actually feeling pretty strong right now. So in the meantime... They've been trying to take Roland out ever since he kicked their asses out of Sanctuary. <sighs> should have seen it coming. So the, the, the bloodshots are actually banners that try to sell Ra uh, Randall, <laughs> Roland, to uh, Hyperion right now. So they captured him and haven't killed him yet. So that's a confirmation that he's not dead yet. But they're trying to sell him to Hyperion. So what we're hearing now is Flankstake, the leader of the, um, well, the bloodshots, trying to contact Hyperion. <sighs> To get uh, some money out of that. No use in... We're getting a lot of Iridium. No use in uh, getting the leader of the Crimson Raiders. If you're not getting anything out of it though. That Bruce is going to die. I think he's going to die just from... Yeah, sword. Okay. That was a bit... I uh, hmm. don't know why that exploded. Oh, there we go. Let's throw that grenade, and I think the yeah, there's a cycle coming from down below. Ah, go! I'm gonna try and kill him, but the shots are going all over the place, and this timer is going down really quickly. There we go. Ooh, that was just in time. Grenades actually don't take out, um, ooh, damn, don't actually take out the, uh, deception. Wow. Well, that was something. So there's another nomad over there. I think I can snipe him in the hand. So on the right side where he's shooting his gun, that's the only place he's actually vulnerable until you get around them. So I'm actually gonna use the shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun. Reload that. And then use deception to go to one side and then go around his back. Oh wow, he just turned around quickly there. But the explosive damage actually goes through the shield. And he doesn't actually do that much damage. There we go another shotgun but we're actually full should have sold a few things at the vending machines i think we're gonna come across a few other ones as well so no worries on that end did anything drop from these guys the guys exploded in the back here don't think there was anything useful the health is nice and uh, whatever this is uh, hmm that's a high powered sniper rifle but i have the shock rifle and since uh sniping is something you do at the beginning of a fight if the enemy has a shield, that shock sniper rifle is going to come in really, really handy. So, uh, don't mind if I... Is that another vault symbol? Never actually checked that out. It doesn't count, apparently. Oh, wait, I know what that is. That's linked to one of the side quests. That's... That's that. Is there... That's just ammo, isn't it? So, moving forward. There we go. Snipe hunting. These guys actually have a head as well. So, there we go. Just head shotting these fools, even though they don't have a shield. I don't really care about that. There still is a sniper okay. rifle, even though it does shock damage. A hundred thousand bucks for Roland. Final offer. Echo me back and let's negotiate already. 
Hyperion wants Roland bad. Even if they don't buy him from the bloodshots, they'll be coming for him. You better hurry. There we go, blew him up. And then I think there's one going into that third, which we're gonna have to avoid. Whew. There we go. I think I might be able to get the third like this. Almost have it. There we go. The third is pretty much the most annoying thing. And if you just kill the the guy that's controlling it, there's actually another one that can take his place. There we go. The spike is perfect for flashy people like the Brutus. And the nomads if they don't have a shield. There we go. Yeah, wounded again. Wow, he doesn't care. Okay. Did I actually hit him there? I don't think I did. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Oh, god. Ow. Uh, that's a grenade. There's the one guy that actually got away. Get that grenade back. Because the further we go, the more actually are actually going to spawn. Whew. If you are going to have a chance against them, you will need to up your arsenal. <laughs> you could always arm your men with some high quality munitions you from my store. Cannot you might kill me. Those <laughs> Crimson Raiders will be dead in <laughs> the so that's an indication that Marcus actually sells uh, weapons to both sides. Oh god. I think I blew them up with my Nova from the, the legendary shield. So Marcus actually sells weapons to both sides because you could hear uh, his audio recording being inserted with random bits of other things. So like he said, uh, dear Bloodshots, and he probably has another one for the Crimson uh, Radies. The Crimson Lance. Well, no, the Crimson Radies. Um, which is interesting, right? That the good guy that's working for us in Sanctuary also sells weapons to these guys. I think we're gonna have to have a little conversation with them. Let's open up another toilet with a smiley face on the lid. Look at that. We're actually running low on pistol ammo at the moment because that spiker wastes a lot of stuff. Let's smack the radio. There we go. For good measure. And that's SMG ammo and that's a bit of pistol ammo. But if we're going to come across a vending machine, that's going to be nice. But as I said, this is actually a very, very long level. And a pretty pretty nice detail with the, the skulls over here. Uh, and all the dead bandits, because they're not all friendly to one another. You Look die. Those murderous bloodshots. Don't you think Pandora would be better without their skulls? I knew that's all I to do. Clean up this planet. Yeah. And that means You're going to look good. good. It's like you. Shots. No one. All those it's sanctuary. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So there we go. Grenade. Um, that was next to it. Oh. He got shocked, so shock also gives a little bit of damage, and I think they're starting to spawn upstairs as well. There we go. And then the- oh yeah, he doesn't have much health left. Thought he had more health left, but it's probably upstairs, because this is uh, a dangerous fight if you're not careful. So there's this giant sinkhole in the middle that will one-shot you. It will kill you in one go if you drop in, so I'm just gonna... Move around the area a bit, and then maybe even... There we go. There we go. Snipe his ass. I don't know why they suddenly started to not be hostile anymore, but... Apparently that happened. There we go. I think I'm gonna do this. Empty my clip on the bruiser. And the fire damage should actually... There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of explosions, because I think there's... Supposed to be a mini boss at the end of this, but hey, another audio diary. Oh, 
goddamn time! A quick suggestion we buy guns from that Marcus Jagger! He lives in Sanctuary! He's just as much of a double cross and holier than thou jackass as Rowan and his raiders! So I'm starting to feel like the narrow spread of the shotgun is hurting me more than it's doing. Good, so I'm just gonna swap it back out for the potent flacker. Let's see how that works. I think that's gonna work better. There we go. Ah, there's a there's a rocket launcher, dude. How hilarious! You just set off my trap card. Your death approaches. Mad Mike, there he is. Oh wow. Let the Novas work for itself. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. The potent flacker does something really weird. I feel like it shoots and then explodes a second later. Which is not always handy. It does a lot of the damage in a very wide area. Ooh, what the hell is that? That's a fire sniper rifle. Hmm, the Scotty Brach. Brachi? Scotty Brachi. There we go. Just a few things. I'm gonna take this with me. That sounds really nice. Really, really nice. So, we got to the top of the sinkhole without dying. Well, really dying. We had a fight for our life once. Now we have this electric fence thing. I don't think there are any yet. Still no uh, vending machines over here. I'm just gonna. God damn it, Hyperion! I didn't get half my guys killed kidnapping the most wanted criminal on Pandora just so you can ignore Oh, gold. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'll fuck myself. I fucked myself. Hey, Bruiser. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Goodbye. That was stupid. That hole was completely collisioned off. I thought I could throw a grenade in there, but apparently not. I think I must have had that happen before. It feels like something I had happened before. That's a sad death. That was completely unnecessary. 500 bucks in the toilet. There we go. That's a better grenade. Oh god, that's all going in my direction. So I can actually maybe just do this. The spike is also perfect to go through those shields. There we go. Oh, the bruiser is even on fire. Didn't intend for that to happen, but it's a nice side effect. Hello! Oh, there goes everything! I always keep forgetting how big those explosions are. Holy shit! There we go. So that electric fence goes pretty far, if I recall correctly. So it goes all the way... Ooh, Iridium. Thank you, Iridium. And then another toilet with some crappy guns, it looks like. Nothing in the toilet itself, sadly. Still following the wire, but I think it goes into the room next to it. But it is a side room, so I might be able to do that without triggering the rest of the area over here. Yeah, it does always spawn Tell something. Eyes deceive you. An illusion fools you all. I move for the kill. Oh, that's... I'm a bit too close for comfort there. Give me your damn move. Oh. There we go. A breaking threshold, Ooh, the ex... My skills increase. Well, that was a bit over the top, wasn't it? Zero. That was that was a bit much. I'm just gonna open up this safe, which you need to whack at the first time. $21. Only $21. But it's supposed to be over here. There we go. So that lowers the electric shield. And now we can open up that weapons chest that's behind that shield. And that opens up, I think it's one of those fancy, yes, doll weapons chests. Which have a bit of a higher chance of getting something nice, but not this time it seems. I think we might be, might get the highest, the 200 one. So we can sell that later on, but I think even the ammo we have, everything we need. I need pistol ammo, there's a bit. There's a bit as well. But, yeah, the spiker just wastes a whole bunch of ammo. But, we can also spend another skill point in our kill skill over I here. I do have the skills to pay all my bills. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zero. That was 
Very interesting. So that just gives us a very high percentage of cooldown rate that goes down every time we kill something. Which is going to come in handy in the next room as well, I suppose. What are you looking at? So, a few bruises. A bruises, we can deal with that. Okay, I thought... So there's another image, Mitch. There we go. Yeah, I think you are on fire indeed. I think he's full of spikes as well. Are you not dead yet? Yeah, he's screaming about it, but... So again, a lot of enemies, so you need to move around a bit. I think I need to be careful because I'm losing my shields. Okay, something's firing a high fire rate shield gun. Where the hell are they coming from? Is the map isn't really clear. This guy's here. But you're fighting a cyber ninja, buddy. Not gonna deal with me. For some reason, wanted to double jump there. I, I don't want to die. Well, you are. Goddamn. There you go. And some more iridium. The shotgun is cool, but it does. It has some really weird, really weird angles. It just blasts an explosive barrage all over the place. I think I can stand on the railing here. Ah, and there was a there was a ladder there as well. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to make things fancy. A rubberized incendiary grenade, but yeah, it shows that the damage is higher, but for some reason it never incorporates the timestamp <laughs> that that grenade does, so I'm not gonna even bother. It doesn't even sell for a lot, so I don't care. So again, swapping weapons is pretty important, so you, uh, you always uh, have enough ammo for whatever you want to use, and I missed again. There we go, jumped over the the wall and I'm just gonna set him on fire. Ow, what the? I think they, yeah, they must have exploded something. So that's a uh, Taskmaster with a shotgun. There he goes. It does go behind the shield, which is nice. Come on, peek. There he goes. So yeah, swapping your weapons around is probably the best way to play this game. Just select the three guns you want to swap between and then just make sure they all use different types of ammo as well, because otherwise they're going to run out of ammo constantly. Yeah. From spring and, rolling. We lose him, we lose our payday. and now we have another audio diary. So one of the bandits had the idea to just start to uh, idolize uh, Marcus because of the fancy guns he gave them. And they, uh, they wanted to build him a shrine, so in hopes that he would give them more guns for free, I suppose. But uh, yeah, we all know Marcus, he's in for the profits. So he's not going to give out guns for free, is he? But at the end of this area, we have a bit of a save point. And then over here, we actually get um, a gate to open. There we go. Open that up. Hello? Vault Hunter. Good to finally meet you in person. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. And then uh, the wall blows up. This'll just take a second. Hello, Roland. It just takes down a loader bolt by hand and throws the electric core into his face. And then he gets smacked into the railing. Pretending he's down. But then... There we go. Hi, Roland. As commander of the Crimson Raiders. Well, that's that. Now let's see about getting out Roland, of here. behind you. Behind you. Vault Hunter! You gotta stop this thing! I will. But first, I need to do something, Roland. Give me a second. I re Let go of 
Oh. That is how handsome Jack pays ransoms. Long time no see rolling. There we go. And he opens up the door. But we can also get to the side. So that's why Hapian wasn't answering flank stakes calls. He just wanted to uh, see what would happen if he just could try and get uh, Roland out of there himself. I think there's a few more. There's a weapons chest over here and there's one behind the gate as well. And I think it's openable through that area. Yeah, I know, Roland. I know. I know you can. I will. I will. I will, Lilith. But uh, so we need to get to the warden, which is something you'll see. Uh, you can see that on the top right. It's written with numbers, and that's something Hyperion does a lot with their bolts. Uh, you'll see that more and more. But as you can see, we can see the uh, cell numbers over here. We can open up uh, some of the other ones, but they're not opening. So we can close a few, and then I think we can no. Do we need to open all of those. Hmm. Probably red means that they're open. It's been a while, as I said, it's been a while since I played this. Ooh, more iridium. And uh, this thing, there we go. Discover the hidden vault symbols. And then I think we just opened up all the cells. Which means, yeah, I think they're open. So now we can just go in here and open up the doll weapons chests. And that has a bazooka. Another, ooh, it's a triple bazooka. Might actually want to take one of those with me. Maybe in except instead of the shotgun. There we go, that's gonna come in nice. That's gonna come in nice. Okay, now we're all geared up. I think there's nothing in the rest of the cells, really. So let's just move through Roland's cell. Don't think there is another audio diary here. Eye for an eye. There we go. It's a nice message, isn't it? An eye for an eye. Now we have that gun loaded over there, which gets blown to bits. So now we have gun loaders to deal with. These are robotic enemies. So you can shoot off their arms, like that, by shooting their hinges. And they have a yellow health bar, which means that they are weak to corrosive damage. So I'm gonna let the bandits fight them off a bit as well. I think there's a few... Where's that coming from? Ah, they're up there. Okay. No, you shall not. There we go. I think I can actually... Just melee this. Oh, no, nope, I shouldn't melee those. There we go. Just shoot the hinges. The hinges are fine. And as you can hear, this entire dam is being barraged by the uh, Helio Space Station now. Which is, of course, look at that. You know what? I want some experience. I think that's better. That was a better shot. And there we go. I think that's going to kill all of it. There we go. Experience for me. I think I can get my grenades back. There we go. All the grenades for me. And that's the first bit of the dam done. But now we need to get to the top of the dam to uh, take out the warden and rescue Roland. So now we're at the bloodshot rampart. So when we get around the corner, we can see the shrine they built to Marcus. Look at that. That must have taken a long time to build. Can't say that these guys aren't creative. The gunloaders, uh, by the way, massacred the bandits. So that's that. There we go. We can take out... If you take out the left arm, they can't actually shoot anymore. Like this. There we go. Um, it's also, by the way, this mission is actually on a timer. So the fact that Roland... The Warden is leaving with Roland is actually real. So that is actually timed. Hyperion took Roland? Mother. Jack didn't send Wilhelm, did he? Please tell me Jack didn't send Wilhelm. So there we go, the first mention of Wilhelm by another character. We heard about Wilhelm in the uh, uh, audio diaries from Patricia... No, not... Um, Helena Pierce, she, has, she had an audio diary with uh, Wilhelm in the background as well. So I'm gonna sell a few things and I'll get back to you in a second. So I'm actually gonna swap out my weapons a bit. So the shock sniper rifle I'm gonna change to that other sniper rifle I have. The spiker is gonna go instead of the uh, the Vladov shock pistol I had, I found earlier. And then the rocket launcher might actually still stay. 
Although I could use the SMG probably in this area because the long range is going to be less important. So if I can uh, walk around a bit faster, and I think this thing also has extra melee damage. There we go. Was that? Yeah, I, definitely. If you compare it to what I can do with the uh, the psychos now, it's actually really, really good. I'm just gonna throw a grenade in the middle of that. I got shocked, so my shield is gone. With those loaders, I can actually take those out rather nicely with this pistol. And it's a Vlados, so the fire rate is really, really high. There we go. So and they're uh, still murdering bandits. I think, yeah, there's still one on the ground. There we go. The last go coming in handy. There we go. So if I come across any health, I will definitely take it. But for now, things are fine. The music is also great in this level. And there we have the suicide loaders. So most enemy types come back in each enemy category. So the loaders also kind of have that explosive thing going on. If they want to, I think they're actually coming for me. I'm actually going to get up top a bit. Are they going to come over here? No. There they are. And if you can hit the top bit, they explode earlier. I think there's one more. Yeah, there we go. They're actually only level 7, so there we go. Gonna have to check out my ammo reserves as well with those high fire rate weapons. But uh, for now it's fine. And the, the, the music is great. A bit of a, an upbeat. Oh, shots, what's going on? I'm hearing more gunfire than usual. I'm still waiting for a response for my period. So for some reason, Flank Steak doesn't really realize. Alright, 20 bucks for Roland. That's my final offer. For a star. And there we go. Goodbye, flank steak. It's yeah, it's really funny. It's some of the, one of the characters we never actually meet because he gets killed before anything happens. And for some reason, these guys are playing nice with the uh, the loaders. Yeah, goodbye. And this is another interesting... This is one of the first fights where the two enemy groups actually start fighting each other as well. And there we go. We can trick the Lotus like that. And there's one bandit still alive. He didn't realize that I was still hostile to him, I think. Because he uh, put his gun away. Then we can go through this area, I think, to get across... Just gonna get. Ooh, that was a, a meaty noise. We can go through here. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, taking off the arms is the quickest way of killing these things. And then maybe a melee attack for good measure. Oh, come on. Get me through this. There we go. Goodbye. And those loaders come in all shapes and sizes, as you can see. There we go. Just getting around these guys and trying to take them out one by one. I think there's an other weapons chest up here. If I can get there. I think we need to... Can we go around? I think there's a, a ladder somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this area. Ah, that's loaded. Oh yeah, I think he might actually land on my hand. There we go. So that's the badass load. I think I'm going to use the sniper rifle. There we go. To take one of his guns out. So this thing actually has three critical hit spots. Which are the two... Well, the loaders all have the same critical hit spots. So they have the arm hinges, the eye, and that's basically it. So that's three because they have two arms. There we go. No boss. Actually losing health rather quickly. I think I can use that ramp up there. There we go. To get up there to the weapons chest. I'm just gonna check out. Ooh, Macromancer, the Psycho, oh god. Yeah, those are plus mods I can actually use. 
So the eye attack from a loader actually does shock damage, same as our shock guns can actually do. And that's bad because that takes away our shields immediately, which is a very dangerous thing to happen at this point because I'm at very low health, even though it's slowly coming back. It's a bit too slow to my taste. Um, is there... I thought there was a weapons chest around here. But remember, every time my shield drops, I actually get a Nova that actually is triggered. I think there's flying drones all over the place as well, which was taking out my shields. See them hovering around on the, on the map. But, since the music is going, we might as well continue on as well. Is this better than the... I don't have it equipped anymore. Let's just take it with us. There we go. There are more... I'm gonna take out those first, because those are really annoying. Because they can take out your shield from afar. For some reason they're standing still over there. Which is fine, I guess. Hey, buddy! Yes, 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 yes. That's actually a really cool gun. The pistol, the Vladov pistol. I think there's one... Why is there one more enemy still alive? And he doesn't seem to care. He's up here. I don't know. Where are you, buddy? Is he up here? Oh, ladders. There he is, it's a badass Marauder. That gives us 500 experience points. For no good reason. There we go. So as long as we keep focusing on those uh, points, we're fine since we don't have a corrosive weapon yet. We don't really do much damage aside from those critical hit points. So, ooh, damn. Oh god, yeah. No! <laughs> Yeah, the explosion kicked me off there, and I don't know what the closest... That's pretty far off. But if I'm lucky, the enemies won't have respawned, because otherwise it's gonna hurt. So I need to go through that side again. Next time on Borderlands 2, we try to save Roland. So let's start with shock damage, because it has a shield. 